Hi, Zachary Stewart here for Theater Mania. I'm here with Seth Rudetsky, the co-author and star of Disaster, a new musical at the Nederlander Theater. So what inspired you to write a musical about disasters? There was like one record in the 70s that we were all obsessed with that my brother and I used to do parodies of where they'd be like, Spiro Agnew, what do you think of Gold in My Ear? And he'd be like, she's an evil woman. Where like he'd respond in songs. <laughs> so my brother and I used to think that was so funny. So I sort of combined all that. My friend Drew Geraci and I during Forever Plaid in the 90s, we'd say, wouldn't it be hilarious if there was a disaster movie as a musical and all the songs were from the 70s that somehow advanced the plot. Now P.S., this is like before, like Mama Me, before any jukebox, there was no term jukebox musical. We're like, well, what disaster could we use and that hadn't been done yet. And I said, what about the blackout of 77? So then we're like, how are we gonna have like two hours of like a black stage? So we couldn't really figure out how to make it work. And basically 20 years passed and that's when I finally wrote it. Were the 70s the golden age of disaster films in the United States? Yeah. I mean, the reality is Poseidon Adventure was the best. And that's a lot what we base this on in terms of the characters really had journeys and there was so much drama in that. Whereas the other ones were just like, oh my God, I can't wait to see someone burn to death. You know, that, <laughs> they all got kind of stupid, but Poseidon Adventure was so brilliant character-wise. So that kind of was the apex, is that the word for the mm -hmm. top? And then the other ones, once we got to S, do you remember that? It was the, it was the death movie about snakes. No. And it was eight <laughs> S's in a row. Oh. It was called S. No, I never saw that Yeah, one. once we got to that, yeah, there was no Academy Award for that one. How do they choose who to kill? I mean, you've studied this formula, obviously. We and there choose. is a formula. Well, you know what? There is and there isn't. I mean, you have to have people die. You don't want to devastate, well, you kind of do want to devastate the audience. I don't really know what the formula is. We just knew that we had to have someone die right away to make the audience know like some of, more people are gonna die. And we want the audience to be emotionally connected with the characters so that when more of them die, they sort of are traumatized by it. Well, but I mean, there are certain elements that I feel like are immovable. You know, the, the greedy capitalist with a yes. vanity project Roger that mocks the gods. Yeah, totally Roger Bard. He's like, look yeah. what I've created. Nothing can destroy this. And then there's the disaster expert, which is me, who was like, why won't you listen to me? So I'm an expert on every single disaster. There's always a disaster expert that's trying to warn that no one will listen to. And there are always vulnerable, pe vulnerable people at risk. Well, you know, and that's the amazing thing. As implausible as these situations are, right, a cruise ship turning over or a floating casino. I, I find that in the really good ones, you end up wondering what, what would I do in that yeah. situation, right? 100%. Like, and yeah, you do put yourself in that situation. Like what the hell would I do if I was on a floating casino in 1979 that turned upside down that was filled with piranhas? What would you do? Well, thank you so much for discussing this, Seth Rudetsky. Bye-bye. It was so lovely. Can't thank wait to you. see the show. Bye guys. Bye guys. Bye.